Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoor Show. This is the second time doing this review because my phone said I had storage issues and I had to delete a lot of stuff in my trash can. And then, you know, it, it was like five minutes into my video and then I forgot what I was going to say, so I'm going to restart it. Y'all, in today's review, I have the Chinese V1-1 Freight Barrel Air Rifle. This gun's pretty cool, okay? Number one, it's not going to be a powerhouse. You're not going to shoot a thousand feet a second. You're going to shoot in 22 caliber like this is about 400 feet a second maybe 415 420 feet a second at the most in 0.177 caliber you're going to shoot about 525 feet a second watch some reviews on that one too that's kind of how i know these numbers now this is a spring powered air rifle chinese made okay and it's pretty neat it's really short it's about 38 and a half inches okay and i just measured it with the tape measure in my last review Okay, it does have the um, circular front blade sight here, which I really, really like. It does have a adjustable um, front sight here. If you guys lift up, and I'm going to try to show you this. If you lift up like this on the sight right here, if you lift up, then you can slide this little plastic piece right here back and forth, okay? And it'll actually, that's how you raise and lower your sight, if I can get it to do it. Oh, there you go. That's how you raise and lower your sight right there. This gun uh, has the traditional stock that comes on most of the Chinese um, air rifles. Um, this is a brake barrel. Okay, it is a spring. It's got a spring in here, so it is a Springer air rifle, not a nitro piston. Um, now, you're like, DG, why would you want a Chinese air rifle or an air rifle that doesn't, 22 caliber, that doesn't shoot 8, 900 feet a second? This gun was $64.99, okay? And I wanted a 22 caliber air rifle that was Chinese made since I bought my first uh, B3-1 that Amazon lost, and then I had to go with the .177 caliber. And then I bought the B3-2 at a pawn shop thinking it was 22 caliber or it was .177 caliber. No big deal. Cool guns. I love under levers, but I wanted one of these. $64.99. It's the cheapest brake barrel that you're going to find. 90% of the time when you get these things, the stocks can be cracked, things like that. But this one's in perfect condition. It's actually really, really smooth. Okay, I do like the hand grips on them like this. Okay, the only issue that I've noticed is in here, it's some kind of white uh, thing. I'm going to maybe dust, maybe rust. I don't know. But I'm going to take gun oil and I'm going to clean it here in a little bit. Okay. Um, like I said, this does shoot 22 caliber pellets at about just 400 feet a second or a little bit more than that. Um, but my way around that is I'm going to try is I actually have some Gamo alloy pellets. Like the Gamo armor pellets. It says... Uh, armor piercing pellets. I don't know about that, but it's like a gamo rocket, but an alloy not lead alloys lighter than lead And then I have these Gamo gold Raptors it says real gold on the side. Don't know how true that is guys, but these are 22 caliber pellets are probably only weigh about seven grains Okay, normally you're hitting 14.33 grams on a standard 22 caliber pellet and uh, But I'm willing to try these and see how well they do out of this gun and maybe that's all i shoot out of here will be these alloy pellets the thing about alloy pellets is they're expensive i was looking at some gto um alloy pellets by predator and you're looking at 28 dollars for between 17 and 28 bucks for a 210 okay unless you want to buy these little blister packs for 10 bucks which gives you 50 pellets um so yeah, why did I want a 22 caliber air rifle that doesn't shoot like 8, 9, 10, 100 feet a second? You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, they're really fun to have. The thing is, it's short and light, so Mamey 98 can shoot it too. Um, and a lot of the times, because she's, you know, she's five foot two, you know, it's like she feels like she's sitting way back here on the gun, or it's real heavy for her, which a lot of air rifles are about 41 inches long, and they are... Uh, you know, they are a little heavy sometimes. So I figured I could get her into this and shooting it. And shooting it. Um, this actually does have a serial number on the side, surprisingly, here. 
Um, no butt pad. Okay, normally they say there's a lot of play in here. I mean, I got a little wiggle, but it doesn't seem like anything bad, you know, so I, I think it'll work out good. Really, really smooth. I really like the texture of this one, this stock. And uh, everything's on here all metal except for this plastic cap right here. Um, these guns are highly modifiable. Any air gun channel I've seen pretty much, they can take these apart and build them all together. No safety. You guys have to be careful. No safety. Okay. And, uh, I'm trying to think what else. It's not an adjustable trigger. Okay. Uh, my Snow Peak SP500 shoots about the same feet per second as this, maybe 350 feet a second. So, this will just be a fun plinking one. Will I take it squirrel hunting? I took the D3-1 squirrel hunting. If I was going to take this squirrel hunting, I'd have to be within 15 yards or less, and that's even pushing it with this thing for the velocity that it's pushing. Normally, you want 500 feet above to go squirrel hunting with, and that's the general rule. But, uh, you know, hey, clinking cans in the yard with May May 98 or with my dad or just out having fun but I, the, the, I don't have a chronograph yet I like to get one but my best bet try to get the most feet per second out of here is shoot a really really light 22 caliber pellet like these and just have a little fun with it but guys um yeah $64.99 they're $59.99 on eBay right now but $64.99 on Amazon and you can also get a B3 variant too if you want it I'm gonna do eventually do a Chinese air rifle showdown where I take this both of my b3s and my s my snow peak sp500 and I'll do a big shooting video and just have fun with all these Chinese air rifles why do I like them they're cheap okay if they break I'm not out a lot of money and I won't be hurting you know not two three hundred dollars and they're just fun cheaply made you know and uh but you got to be careful not having a safety on here. So, y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one.